Good evening, campers. It's me, Kieran, and as part of the Booker Boy Book Club, we are reading through all the International Booker of 2022's long list. Pinheiro is the third most translated Argentinian author, the first and second, retrospectively, being Borges and Cortazar. Now, Pinheiro is rooted within the detective novel, so going into Eleanor knows, know that this is a detective story. And who is our detective? Well, it is a old woman who has Parkinson's and her name is Eleanor. And Eleanor knows that her daughter did not commit suicide. She did not willingly choose to go up to the belfry of the church and hang herself. Eleanor knows that. No one else does, but Eleanor knows that she is going to find out the truth over the course of one day. Eleanor knows has the same cadence as Piera maintains. Therefore, if you like this, check that out. And if you've read that book, maybe check this one. For what it's worth, I didn't really like Piera maintains. But we're not here to talk about Piera maintains. We're meant to be talking about Eleanor knows. And Eleanor knows that her entire day is set out by her meta literally is only able to move to stop the shakes of her Parkinson's. As a working title, Eleanor Knows almost falls apart halfway through this story, as we realise that this story isn't about what Eleanor knows. It's about everything that she didn't know. Everything that she thought she knew ends up being wrong about herself, about her relationship with her daughter, with who her daughter used to intermingle with and what her daughter has been up to all this time. Working within the confines of crime fiction, we need to have a victim. And it's very easy to pin this straight onto Rita, Eleanor's daughter, who is no longer with us. But Pinera plays with this notion as we realise that through interactions with a close confidant to Rita, Isabel, that maybe she is the true victim in all of this. Akin to Pinero questioning the traditions of the crime novel, Eleanor is questioning her own traditions and this conversation is rife about her own relationship with the church. Rita would not have gone in the rain to the church on the day that she supposedly committed suicide. Eleanor knows that she has values that are in line with the church but after this death they have almost been severed. Eleanor knows that she now won't return to the church as Father Juan brushes off her speculations, her own questions of what has happened. What role, if any, does God play in all of this? Or was the death completely unpreventable? Is it easy to point to the church or should we be looking at the interactions of the mere mortals that Rita was engaged with? Is it ourselves who are to blame rather than blaming the church directly? Religious imagery daintily decorates this novel and we can appreciate the wonder and the splendour. And all of this is contrast within Eleanor's own body, her Parkinson's and how she looks. It's hard to not note that with her hunchback constantly bent over, that she appears like a nun in prayer, showcasing like showcasing that her body and even her morals are bowing before God. Like Eleanor's movement, the first leg of this story is slow, and even in the second leg, where she catches a taxi, eh, it might as well have just been gridlocked the road. I felt a tremendous bore work into me. The last part, I may add, is absolutely redeemable and the conversation that happens between two people, I won't discuss what happens because this is a crime fiction novel, there is an element of you have to figure out what happens and when we deduce what happens, that conversation really does change the outlook of the entire book so far. But until that moment, <sighs> should have stuck on Poirot. If you're interested in crime fiction or thrillers, I think this would be like a no-brainer for you to try out. Or if you're interested within the politics of Hurricane Season by Fernanda Melchor, but aren't up for a complete gnarled experience. And with that, I would give it a five. It's a bit mediocre. Hey.